Hi guys, uh, still in Myanmar and uh, it's been um, awesome, it's just been amazing, every single day has been amazing. Uh, I've been, I, I'm going to show you, um, you know, a glimpse of two days, uh, the two days we went on, um, on a remote part of uh, Myanmar to visit uh, tribes, we visited, we visited three tribes. And I've been wondering how to make this video. I don't, because I don't want to get political. Not in this video. I might do that later. I might, I might go into more detail about their situation uh, in another video. But now I'm just kind of like showing you what I'm doing in Myanmar. These these three tribes, like I said, are quite remote. Two of them are accessible quite easily. Um, so they do see some tourists. And uh, one of them is, is uh, well, you need a special permit to go there because of politics, you know. Like I said, I, I'm going to go into that later. They are in, uh, in conflict with the uh, Burmese army. The Burmese army is in conflict with a lot of people in Myanmar. But like I said, that's for later. But what I wanted to share with you is uh, the kindness and the goodwill and the generosity of these people is just something it's i have i can't really describe it this is just something you will have to uh, experience for yourself if you if you want it's, it's there but it's just yeah humbling i met this woman She's a, she's a mother of 10, uh, well, two of her children died, which is quite common in this area because they lack a lot of things. She, she's about 40, she thinks she's about 40, she doesn't really know how old she is. And uh, poor, very, very poor. And life is hard, but they don't complain. You know, because there's nobody listening. There's, you know, there's no point in complaining. You, they just have to continue to do what they do. If they don't, they don't eat. It doesn't matter if you're young, old, sick, healthy, whatever your situation is. If you don't work, you don't eat. And then I saw this little girl. I don't know exactly how old she is. She's about three, I guess. I have a three-year-old and uh, I was admiring this girl because she was following her mother and she was kind of running up and down the hills, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty steep, the hills, you know, the slopes down and she was running down with full control. I don't even have full control when I walk down these hills, you know, let alone run. And, and then, then she kind of gave up and, and, and you know, I didn't understand that what they were saying, but, you know, I have a three-year-old and, uh, you know, I could kind of understand the body language. So she, she didn't want to walk anymore. She wanted her mother to pick her up. And her mother did not do that. And, and, uh, and uh, then I saw her leg. Her leg was a little crippled. It was, it was uh, I don't know, bent. Uh, and then I, then I noticed she had a limp. So she didn't get picked up. She probably never got picked up because, you know, you have to take care of yourself. You have to learn right off the bat to take care of yourself because there's nobody going to do it for you. 
But but this video is not gonna be all about you know uh, sadness. It's you know these people were so happy uh, that I really didn't you know and so generous. We, we like uh, we were there at the, at at harvest time, and uh, they offered us food, and uh, it's like a delicacy they have maybe once or twice a year and uh, they offered it to us. Uh, and I find, you know, when I travel to, well, the less fortunate area, let's, let's call it that, for lack of a better word, that the people who have nothing, they give a lot. And the people that have everything, they don't care. They don't, they don't care. And they also showed us, you know, how they go around with their cooking and their stoves and, uh, you know, preparing. I don't even know what some of his stuff is called, but, you know, preparing their food. Uh, let's just say that. And playing, you know, they, they sat down and played for us uh, on, on, on their instrument show. We did, two of them were making their own instrument and playing them. They sat down like with something that looks, looked like a guitar and sang for us. I, I you know, just kind, generous people. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm just gonna show you a few videos and a few photos I uh, I took these two days. I hope you enjoyed it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, at least the, uh, the footage and, and the uh, photos I shown you. It was an experience for me to visit these people. It's not the first time I do it, I had done it before, but each time I learn new things from them. And uh, just about life and perspective and uh, what's important in life. Thank you for watching.